but right now, all you are is sellouts. What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here the Ghost Tactical to do a quick video in response to another video by American Gun Chick that was put out yesterday. She basically went on a video and said that she is not going to start posting most of her stuff over on Utah Gun Exchange or YouTube because she doesn't agree with what's going on with YouTube. People are getting unsubscribed to her, not getting notifications and all that, and she feels that YouTube is not the platform for her. I get that. I, I don't disagree that YouTube has its issues, but it's also the second largest search engine in the world. So um, maybe you want to be on that platform to reach the masses. I'm all for diversification. I'm on at least 10 platforms, if not more, and I'm always looking for others to join. Getting your message out to as many people as possible is what it's all about. If you're into it for what you say you are, which is bringing more women into the gun community, then you want to be in front of as many women as you can. But here's a problem. All I've seen from the channel, at least in recent months, is you out there training with guys. Why are you not training with female instructors? Why are you not spotlighting female instructors? Why are you not spotlighting or interviewing female competitive shooters or executives in the industry? Or if nothing else, promoting other female content creators inside the gun community. I think that you have a distinct possibility of bringing many more women into the gun community than you think. The problem is, is you're not really interested in bringing women into the community. You're more interested in becoming famous, getting the glory, and making money. If making money is what it's all about, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. But if you're gonna preach about bringing more women into the community, then why not every time you go on a road trip, do you not do a women's day only shoot at some of the ranges you're at to? You're telling me that you don't have the pull to get that done? I think you do. The problem is, is you're not interested in that. You say you wanna bring more women into the community, but yet you have done nothing to prove that. When's the last time that you dress like a normal girl to show what a normal person, a normal female is? not just trying to dress up and showing your tits and ass to everyone that wants to see it. That's not helping the female community. What you're trying to do is become famous and get as many male viewers because that's where it is. That's where the money is. I get it. I'm not criticizing you for trying to make money. The problem is, is if you're trying to preach this gospel of bringing more women into the community and then you actually do the opposite, then that's crazy. Why not stay on YouTube and just diversify on other platforms. Why not expand what you're doing and start training with female-only instructors, promoting other creators, talking to and with female competitive shooters, and most importantly, talk about executives that are in the gun industry. This is a male-dominated industry, and we need to bring more women in, but you're not doing what you say you're going to do. You're trying to be this beacon of the women's rights in the gun community, but you're not. You're not doing anything to help bring more women in there. All you're trying to do is become famous and get money. So I challenge Joe and Perkel. Is I don't think it's just Perkel. I think a lot of it is Joe. If you want to be serious about bringing women into the community, then be serious about it. If you want to be serious about being famous and making money, then just come out and say it. But to chastise and berate your viewers on video comments because they don't agree with you or because they are questioning your motives, I don't get that. You have people that are saying, hey, I'm done, whatever, and then you'll just berate them in comments. You're talking about growing a viewership and growing some loyal people? then you probably shouldn't chastise them for commenting and, and questioning your motives. I've asked you guys many, many times to come be on the show. I'd love to have you on, if not Brickell or Joe or both of you, to talk about your platform and what you're trying to do and what the best way to get that accomplished is. I know that I might not be a big enough channel for you to be glory and all that, but why wouldn't you want to get out there and try to spread the gospel of women in the firearms community? I think that it'd be a great opportunity if you try to jump on as many live chats as you can. The engagement is right there. You can get viewers and supporters and followers right away in a live stream. Come on anytime you want. You can come on tonight. I'd love to have you on. Just let me know. You guys have my email. You can contact me anytime. Maybe if you change your direction, you can see yourself getting the growth that you truly want. You have the opportunity to be as big as you want to be, but right now, all you are is sellouts. Oh, hey guys, sorry, doing a little work on the AR. 
Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Maybe hit the notification bell and hit that like button. If you really like the video, then we ask you to go check out some videos over here and check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us. Simplify.